Hey everybody, it is time we review another Geiger counter, the GQ GMC 500 Plus. This is an excellent unit for preppers and also just for a uh, starter unit for radiation hobbies. And today we will be reviewing it, so let's get right into it. Amazon for anywhere from $149 to $160. And when you do, this is what will come. You will receive a pouch, and inside the pouch, you will receive your GQ GMC 500 Plus Geiger Gunner. In the package, you will also receive your nuclear radiation safety guide, which is basically just how safe and a certain amount of radiation is. And on the back of that, you will see a map of radiation levels in certain areas. In the box, you will also receive a charger cord, which is USB that plugs into your GQ to charge it. And you will also receive a uh, quick instruction manual. And I'm not a great fan of these because it's very short and not very detailed. I personally prefer the one online because it is much, much longer and much, much more helpful. But you can read it. They do come with. These units are a great starter unit for hobbyists. And the first thing that you're going to need to do is power it on. Power it on, you're going to hold the power button, it'll tell you the battery power, and the unit will come on, displaying the model it is. It takes quite a while to warm up to background, but let's just let it go. Okay, so after about a minute, the unit is almost warmed up. It displays the number of counts per minute right here, the number of microsieverts per hour here, and the number of millirankin per hour here. If you want to switch that, you can use the up and down arrow buttons to switch between units. This will select the main unit that is up for display right here in the middle of the screen. The other two units will appear at the bottom of the screen smaller, so if you need to access them, you will be able to without having to switch between units. It will also display if the amount of radiation it's detecting is normal, medium, or high. When it detects radiation, the LED will blink. The unit will also display its current accuracy, battery power, audio status, data status, and time. There are multiple different modes on this unit, and to switch between them, you will click the bottom button. You can use up and down arrows to switch between modes. On the large font mode, there's the regular screen. On the, on the decimeter mode, there is uh, a dose display, which is in count rate for some reason, the rate display for count rate, average, alarm, time elapsed, time left, and there's also a way to change the unit and reset the display. You will notice this is also a timed count status. You can use a scalar function right here. You can now click this button and switch to the text mode. In text mode, you will see a screen that is similar to the decimeter mode, except it will show you the amount of CPM, the current microsieverts per hour, average set counts per minute, total count, maximum count, and elapsed. In the graph mode, you can take a peek at the graph and the amount of radiation being detected in peaks. Let's see what this does when we put it up to a radioactive source. I have a cesium-137 source on the side of my Love Model 14C here, and I'm going to put the detector right up to it. You will also see the amount of counts per second on this screen. The last mode is the food sample mode, and this mode, in my opinion, is absolutely terrible because this detector is just horrible for detecting food contamination. Food contamination is ridiculously hard to detect, and not even lab quality detectors can detect it. You're going to need a really expensive, like $20,000 scintillator if you want to ever detect food contamination, and this $160 detector is going to do nothing for you. As a result, I don't recommend the food sample mode. I will always use the large font for the rest of this video. To access the settings, you will press the power button. These settings are the ones that are available. You can also press it again, and you will be able to turn the audio off, the alarm off, turn up or down the alarm volume, medium threshold, high threshold, LED indicator, set dose alarm, and much, much more.
On the top of it, you will see the jack for charging it, and you will also see a headphone jack. On the back of the unit, you will see the battery compartment, with one large rechargeable battery inside of it. The screws for opening up the unit are also on the back, as well as a wall mount. There is also two detectors. The one that you will be using most is this tube right here. This is, contains a Geiger Muller tube that can detect beta and gamma radiation. This tube here can only detect gamma and is only used for high range measurements. You aren't gonna be using this tube unless something is terribly, terribly wrong. That completes my review of the GQ GMC 500 Plus Geiger counter. It's great for preppers, but for hobbyists, at least for advanced hobbyists, it's a no-no. One reason is it's not very rugged. The second reason is it can't even detect alpha radiation. The third reason is that it takes a very long time to give you a reading and is not very sensitive. Hope you found this review of the GQ helpful, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.